Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are recreating Houston Cold's animation. Okay friends let's make it. Here, I added my clip. I have downloaded this from pixabay.com. Houston Cold uses his own footages, but we don't have great equipment to shoot. I reduce brightness and contrast little much to my clip. Also I adjust saturation. Now I am going to add bokeh overlay. Let's adjust this clip. Now blend this layer mode normal to screen. Let's decrease brightness little bit of this clip. Now we will add fog footage. Adjust this image size, and also blend this layer mode normal to screen. Let's duplicate this layer. Now adjust it. Now we will add text. Here I created my text with bold and italic fonts. Now we will animate these texts. Let's create simple moving animation. Now we have something like this. Now it's time to create transition. For that, I am adding vector drawing tool. I draw a shape like this with four points. Now apply wave warp effect to this layer. You can find this effect in distortion section. Increase spacing value is shown. Now decrease magnitude value is shown. You can play with these values. Now select all this points, and add keyframes as shown in the video. Move 15 frames forward from the first keyframe, and add keyframes. Now move 10 frames forward and add keyframes. Now edit these keyframe curves as shown. Now at the first keyframe, move these points as I showing in the video. Now at the second keyframe, move these two points out of the frame. Now do the same thing for these points. Now at the last keyframe, move all points as I am showing in the video. Now we have something like this. It's nice. Now select all layers, except shape layer, and group them. Let's start this layer from here. Let's create zoom in animation to second layer. Now select these two layers, and tap on exclusion icon for masking. Now it's time to create second animation. For that, I have created a new project. Let's add text first. Adjust your text, and duplicate it. Now apply blur effect to second text layer. Adjust blur strength. Now we have glow effect. Now at this frame, add a rectangular shape, and adjust it as I shown in the video. Now 
Move one frame forward, and trim it. Now trim these layers also. Now duplicate this shape layer. Move it here, and adjust it, as I shown in the video. Let's create second text. Drag it here. Let me adjust this shape little bit more. Now we will create glow effect to these shapes. Let's increase these shape layers duration, 1 frame to 3 or 5 frames. Now select all these layers and group them. Copy this layer. Now paste here. Drag it down. Start this layer from here. Now we will create next animation. For that, I have created a new project. Also I added my image. I want this dollar in red color. For that, I am applying solid color effect to this layer. Here, you can change whatever color you want. I added my remaining images. Let me adjust little bit. Now duplicate this image. Let's keep it here. Here, I am increasing scale, but you don't do it, simply change Z axis position in negative, don't worry, I will explain next. Simply adjust Z axis value as shown, this will help us to easily animate. Now we will apply auto shake effect to small dollars layers. Adjust values is shown. Now copy this effect and paste it on remaining two layers. Now we have this. Now we will create a background for this. I reduced BG image opacity to 10%. Now select these four layers and group them. I want this animation in only one second. So I trimmed all layers here. Here I am adding three position keyframes. Now at the first keyframe, adjust Z axis value. Copy this value. Let's smooth keyframe curves. Here, paste copied value. This animation is too fast, I want little bit slower. Now do the same thing for remaining images. For this, I have created zoom in and zoom out animation.
Now we have this. Select these three layers and group them. Let's create glow effect to all these images. Now select all these layers and group them. Copy this layer. Paste here. Drag it down. Add here, I am adding a text. Let's apply blink effect to this text. Add a frequency keyframe here. Move 15 frames forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, decrease frequency value. Now smooth your keyframe curves. Now we will add text randomizer effect. Here select digits. Now add amount keyframe. Move 15 frames forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, increase amount value to 100%. Now smooth your keyframe curves. Now we will create next animation. For that, I have created a new project. Let's add a rectangle shape. Let's adjust it. Now we will apply wave warp effect to this layer. Keep angle value to 90 degrees. Now play with these values. Now add phase keyframe. Move one second forward and add another one. Here increase phase value. Now smooth keyframe curves. Let's keep this keyframe here. Also increase phase value here. Let's see the preview. Now we will add text. Here I have created my two text layers. At here, I will create fade in animation to this text layer. Now copy this wave warp effect. Paste it on two text layers. Let's adjust wave warp effect values. Now add a rectangle shape. Adjust this shape as shown. Now apply blur effect to this layer. Adjust blur strength. Let's decrease opacity little bit. Let's keep it here. Move it here. Now, add a position keyframe here. Move 20 frames forward and add another one. At here, change this shape position as shown. Now smooth keyframe curves. Animation is too fast. Let's keep this keyframe here. Now duplicate this layer. Start this layer from here. Now duplicate background shape layer. Change this shape color to blue. Now at here, add opacity keyframe. Also add one more here. At here, decrease opacity to 0%. Now smooth keyframe curves. Let's move this layer here. Also adjust these keyframes. Now group these two layers. Now duplicate this layer. Drag it here. Now select these two layers and tap on masking icon. Now select all layers and group them. Now copy this layer.
paste here. Now we will add background video. Drag it here. Let's adjust scale and position. Now, we will apply flip layer effect to this layer. Here, adjust values as shown. Now add scale keyframe here. Move 15 frames forward and add another one. Now at the first keyframe, increase scale value as shown. Now smooth keyframe curves. Also create zoom out animation to background footage. Let me adjust position of this layer little bit. Now select these two layers and group them. Now we will create fade in animation to this layer. Let's add a bokeh overlay. Now here, I am creating fade out animation. That's it guys, thanks for watching, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe our channel for more videos like this, also comment below, who's editing you want to recreate.